Hey friends, it's Jacqueline at Pixie Dust PhD. My partner Adam and I are finishing up like a two thirds work day right now. I'm supposed to be working right now. Um, and then we're off to the airport so we can head out to Paris, France. Today is Monday, weather on Wednesday and Thursday is looking pretty hot. It's the highs back in the 90s, but the weather by the time we're in Disneyland, if the forecast holds up, the high is only in the low 80s, so I'm really excited for that. Not too many of you indicated you wanted to see actual Paris footage, so I'll probably sprinkle a little bit in. In this video, we'll call this our many travel days to get to Disneyland Paris. So we're leaving today on Monday. It's a red eye. We will get in on Tuesday. We don't have too many plans for Tuesday. I think we're gonna try to do some shopping, go into the opera. If we're feeling energetic, maybe Notre Dame. But yeah, I think we're gonna be tired. Wednesday is the Arc de Triomphe and the Louvre. Thursday, we're doing the Eiffel Tower, the Dior Gallery, the Orsay Museum, and then we have a fun dinner at Pink Mama. Friday is a zoo day, and we've left a lot of time open just to meander around and do anything else that we want. Saturday, we're off to Champagne for a day trip. Both Adam and I are really excited for this. We are big wine fans, so it's awesome to be able to go to actual Champagne. And then Sunday's kind of like Friday where we don't have any intense plans. We'll do some gardens, hit up cafes, but you know, pretty chill day. But then Sunday evening, we are making our way over to the Disneyland Paris area. We'll actually do Disneyland on Monday and Tuesday for real. Monday is apparently a huge bank holiday in the UK, so I am braced for crowds, but we'll see how it goes. And then we do have theme park tickets on Wednesday. We are checking out of our Disney hotel on Wednesday. That is Hotel New York Art of Marvel. So I don't know that we'll do a whole day. We're definitely not doing till fireworks, you know, 11 p.m. or whatever, but we'll do at least through 1 to 2 p.m., maybe even 5 or 6 p.m., we shall see. And then we're just off to our airport hotel to sleep that night there and then leaving on Thursday. We're flying business class on the way out there, so from DC to France, and then just premium economy on the way home. We don't have too many strict plans at Disneyland Paris, but we will be dining at Manhattan Restaurant inside the Marvel Hotel. We've also got a reservation at Silver Spur Steakhouse for lunch and Chez Remy for lunch. I'm definitely looking forward to the fireworks as well as Dream and Shine Brighter and the 5.30 parade. We may try to fit in Mickey and the Magician. I am not a big show person, but that one looks pretty cool. And then I definitely want to get on Crush's Coaster, Tower of Terror, Big Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain. I think it's going to be a pretty ride heavy trip. Plus, of course, you'll find me drinking champagne on Main Street. I am testing out some new mics. So if the audio quality is maybe not what you're used to, thanks for your patience. But yeah, we'll finish up work, head off to the airport. I'll show you a few bits and pieces, but otherwise I'll talk to you in like six and a half or so days once we're on our way to Disneyland. Can't wait.
Hi friends, it's been many a day since we last touched base. We were leaving the Washington DC area for France. We spent the last five nights in Paris doing many, many things. So we went to the top of the Eiffel Tower. There was a long queue for that, even though we had skipped the queue tickets. Um, we climbed the stairs up to the Arc de Triomphe. That was hard. Work out both up and down. Yeah. Um, physically taxing, that's, that's for sure. sure. But it's a really beautiful view of the city. We went to the Louvre. Um, I'm not gonna say we did the Louvre because I think you would need like weeks to do the Louvre, but we went to the Louvre and it was very crowded and chaotic and very hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, we hung out outside of the Louvre and just like, I don't know, took in the pyramids. It's really beautiful. Yeah, it's a really it's worth. wonderful building. What else did we do? We went to the zoo and we saw a red panda and there were other animals, but mostly we saw a red panda. It was so cute. Yeah, it's really cool to take in all the gardens, the, the culture, right? The food was good. The drinks were better. Um, it was really um, an experience, right? That's yep. for sure. Ate a lot of steak frites and yeah. had a lot of house wine that was cheap price-wise, but still tasty. Like like a five, 450 or five euro glass of wine here is probably the equivalent of like a nine to 12 dollar glass of wine back home in America. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was um, a lot of fun. We did things like take a scenic boat ride cruise tour and saw the Eiffel Tower lit up at night. Um, every hour on the hour it sparkles and puts on a show for five minutes. They timed it just right. So our boat tour pulled up and they did a little countdown. It was really romantic. Yeah, so we had a lot of fun in Paris, though it was um, very hot for a few days and quite exhausting. Um, and now we are getting ready to head to Disneyland tomorrow. So we've already moved from Paris to our offsite hotel in the Disneyland Paris area. We're at Val de Europe, the like mall here. Um, and I'm sure there will be a room tour video for you soon if it's not already posted. But yeah, in the morning we're going to wake up. We're going to transfer over to the Hotel New York Art of Marvel, drop our stuff off, grab our magic passes, and then head to the park. So I think we planned to do Paris, then Disneyland Paris for a variety of reasons, but one of them was definitely like because we thought Disneyland would be super exhausting and we didn't want to be exhausted when we went to Paris. But now I'm questioning. <laughs> Perhaps Paris was more exhausting, so I'm sure I'll report back out later, but it's been a really fun vacation so far. Oh, we also did a day trip to Champagne and we toured two Champagne houses and their caverns and it was like great. And also, of course, there were tastings and, you know, I love Champagne, so yeah, Jack that's cool. Jacqueline's favorite was the uh, Rosé Champagne, mm. the, right? The 2012 Vintage Rosé. <laughs> <laughs> they made sure to let you know that it was vintage. Yeah, I'm guessing we won't be able to get that at Disneyland Paris for the same reasonable price that we got at the tasting. <laughs> no. No. But yeah, so uh, we took the RERA train out from Paris out here to Val d'Europe. It was pretty easy, though I will say it's like a standard commuter train. So you board the train and there's, you know, like a platform and there's an upstairs and a downstairs. And just because it's a commuter train, there's kind of always constantly people going on and off at most of the stops until you get pretty far out. So like Adam didn't grab seats the whole time. Um, and if you have luggage, I think it's a little more challenging to sort of beat other passengers like up or down the stairs to grab a spot. But it was what, maybe 40 minutes? It was pretty fast. Yeah, no, it was it was not bad at all. And uh, considering the alternative was paying, you know, 50 bucks for a cab to sit in traffic that would take Forever. twice as long. Yeah, um, it was definitely worth it. Um, I would definitely say that. If you're not staying right by the train station, you definitely would want to arrange some kind of transportation. Yeah, for to sure. To pick you up. Like our Paris hotel concierge even said, yeah, take the RAR, or like traffic's insane. And you know, the RAR is so much cheaper. It's five euro per person. We had it included in our weekly pass. So we didn't even really like pay for it, not the individual ride. But yeah, point being, if you have a lot of luggage, um, you may find it difficult to like haul it fast enough to claim a seat because other people are also trying to claim a seat. So. Adam just hung out, out with our luggage, like on the sort of platform area once you board in the whole ride. <laughs> um, and I did sit for about half of it sans luggage. But yeah, then we're just staying in an offsite hotel that was like around the corner from the train station. So that was pretty easy though. Navigating cobblestones with luggage sucks. <laughs> yeah, not great. Fortunately, it was only, it was less than like 
five minutes from the station. Yeah, super it was, close. this is part of the reason we picked the hotel is because yeah. it was going to be super easy. We did look at the Radisson Blue, which we would have had to probably take an Uber from the train station over out there. And I'm sure that would have been fine, but it just seemed like we're only here for one night, probably less than 12 hours, honestly. So didn't really want to deal with it. But yeah, so we're about to head to bed here at the Hotel Elise in Val d'Europe. And then when we wake up, just get ready, pack up the few things we took out. And then I think we're going to either take an Uber or a taxi over to Hotel New York and start our Disneyland Paris adventure. Yeah, I'm really excited to go into the next phase of Disney. Um, I think that uh, after leaving the chaotic streets of Paris, right? Yeah. Um, it's going to be good to kind of get some of that Disney magic in our vacation for sure. Definitely. So thanks for coming along on this extended travel day vlog and we'll see you soon in Disney. Okay, bye.